All right. <coughs> so this coin ring is going to be a little special. This is for a giveaway I hosted on the Coin Family Discord. So this is a 90% silver New Jersey quarter. We're going to be making this into a size 11 ring today. It's very pretty. It's got some nice blue toning on the ridge there. Let's see if I can get that a little better. Y'all see that? It's very pretty. And what we're going to do is punch a hole in this and fold it and heat it and bend it and size it into a nice ring. So if you want to see that, hang out. We're going to get started here in just a second. So the first thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. So we're gonna get our little center punch here. Nice New Jersey, 90% silver quarter. Make sure that paper towel's on there, nice. You all feel free to tap the screen if you enjoy this live. I try to share entertaining and interesting content. Looks like we're almost to 100 likes already. Very nice. I do appreciate it. Now, I am going to ask you guys a question. Do you guys see anything weird on the screen right now? So I just signed up for a new thing here on TikTok. I'm trying to figure out how you see it on your end. So it's like... It's like a YouTube Plus thing. It's like a subscription thing. I'm not exactly sure how it works yet, but do you see anything like that? It might have a star. Um, a star? Where is it? Is it up here? Or is it down here? Let me know where you see it. Thank you very much, by the way, Sean. So it's up at the top. Sorry, there's a little delay, so I'm not sure what you're saying yes to. Top and a link at the bottom. At the top next to my name. Okay, very cool. Thank you, guys. Well, if anyone's interested in trying that out, support me as a creator. Uh, every little thing counts. If, if you've been here a while and seen my work and want to support me, that's that's a new way you can do it, I suppose. Star up by my name. Check it out. Yeah, I like when TikTok lets me try new stuff. We got a nice half inch hole punched right in that silver quarter. And now we're going to clean up this cut edge. It's a little rough. So we're going to smooth that out with a deburring tool. This is a nice curved blade that rotates around. So it makes it really easy to clean up circular stuff. Uh, this is kind of the slow, boring part, so if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen while we get through this, we will get to more cool, uh, exciting steps, I promise. And if at any time during this live you'd like to check out some of the stuff I make, there is a little gold link by the chat. You can tap on that, it'll pull up some of my products, some product photos, and the prices, and all that good stuff. So if you want to check that out, it's down there. You can also visit the website link on my profile by tapping my logo at the top of the screen, going to my profile and tapping the website link there. Have I ever accidentally made a ring out of a W? No, I watch pretty closely for W quarters. I got pretty into quarter hunting there for a while. I found me about eight of them. So I've never accidentally made a W, you know. I've got all them put up. I have had a couple people ask if I would make one, but no one ever follows through with it. So when I first started, I spent about $150 on tools. I got a hammer. I got a punch and die set like this. Uh, punch holes it worked pretty good 
and I got a one ton arbor press and a die and a cone. And pretty much from, from those like five tools, well, and a mandrel. You need a ring mandrel too, but yeah. You can make rings with those basic tools. Uh, I definitely upgraded to some more fancy tools over time to make it a little easier process. Yeah, I'd tell you if I did. I'm pretty honest, man. If you're interested in looking into tools, uh, visit the website that's my username, cornringmaker.com, and there is a recommended tool list uh, on that website. If you're looking for, like, where to get stuff. Just a second, guys. My daughters take all my change. I would have nothing to make rings out of. Yeah, I got to make a couple trips to the bank and the Mint website. Got to stay stocked up. Now we're going to go over here and start folding it. And to do that, I use a doming block. That's this thing. And we're going to take our nice silver quarter here. Just a second, guys. Go upstairs. Come on. Sorry about that, my dog being stupid. Well, do I'll take a look at your page. I have wanted to try and make coins for a long time. Well, I recommend checking out my uh, YouTube. I can go a lot more in depth with like tutorials and stuff on that kind of platform. Uh, so the channel is just called Coin Ring Maker. So you might you might find that interesting. And you can sub through my profile if you go visit. Whew. Had to wrestle with my dog a little bit. I'm out of breath. My goodness. New Jersey. And I've got all 50 states in copper and 90% silver. If anybody wants to get a specific state quarter made into a ring, I can do that for you. Also, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And check out the new subscription star up by my name. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that before. It's brand new. So check that out. It's pretty cool. I don't know who's going to subscribe. But you get custom emojis. I don't know. TikTok is weird. There we go. So I'm just going to sand this cut edge a little bit. And then anneal it again. Here to do that. 2,800 likes on this live. Thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. How do you know when to anneal the metal? Uh, I try and do it in between every step, but you can start to feel the metal work hardening after a while. So I would say maybe after every like 15 to 17 degree change on bending it. Uh, maybe every two to three sizes anneal. It's always better to an over anneal than under anneal. Because if you don't anneal, it will make the, the metal stay brittle. And here's an example of what happens if you don't anneal. 
he ended up with a split ring. That's not good. Uh, that's another reason why I'm sanding this cut edge. Because I want to make sure it's as smooth as I can possibly get it. Because that's where the cracks start. So we want to make sure we, we get rid of them while they're tiny. Y'all feel free to uh, tap that follow button. I think all you got to do is hit my logo right here and then hit follow. I recently hit 200,000 followers here on TikTok. I still kind of can't believe it. Uh, you can also shop through the little gold link down by the chat. So check that out while you watch. And we're going to kneel this again. So here's a bit of fire coming at you. You want to put a fire emoji in the chat? Go for it. This is nice. Y'all will like this. Watch this. Get real close. That was a little one. Soup. Soup. So if you guys have never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. This is a 90% silver New Jersey quarter that we're making into a size 11 right now. Make all different types of coin rings. Uh, tap the gold chain to check them out. Go to the store. Go see what's at the store. Go buy stuff from the store. And I'll make it for you. That's how it works. It was the worst song you've ever heard. Boom. Coming at you. It's called Go to the Store. <laughs> Alright, so this thing is called a ring stretcher. Hello from Washington State. Welcome to the live. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tap the screen if you're liking the show. But what we're going to do is we're going to put our ring on here and we're going to stretch it out. As I lift this handle up, a spike comes out of the top right here, and that pushes these outward, and that's going to help us shape our ring. From Texas, me too. Texas is great. That's why they call it the, uh, the great state of Texas. I like to use a little bit of blue shop paper towel on here. Helps keep the inside detail. That way we don't have like metal on metal contact because we're applying a bunch of force to this thing. Also rotate it and flip it around so the pressure isn't always on the same part of the ring. So we'll stretch evenly, do about a quarter turn, four pulls flip it over. And this ring's target size is an 11. For quarters I can go up to 13, which is a pretty good range. We're going to get this up to a size 12 and then reduce it down. So let's see what we're at right now. It's about, about 11 and a half. So we're making a silver quarter into a ring. I'll let you guys see it here in just a second. It's almost stretched all the way. But don't forget to tap that gold chain down there by the chat. Visit the store. It's linked in my profile. Get you a handmade coin ring. Everybody will be like, damn. That thing is cool. The Beyonce stretcher. There's our ring so far. And the reason I stretch it one size past our intended size is because the ring stretcher kind of leaves a little bit of an e uneven comb shape to it. So what we're going to do now is reduce this reeded edge so it'll match our cut edge and look real nice and even. So give me just a second while I do some fancy camera stuff here. Here we go. Now we're completely out of focus. Isn't that nice? 
Thank you guys for following, tapping the screen, checking out the store, website link in my profile, all types of coin rings. Uh, if anybody has a question, feel free to put them in the chat. I'm a pretty chatty dude. I know some TikTokers have a little more energy than me, but I try to keep it nice and chill over here. Uh, also, I got a new feature today. There's a little star up by my logo here. You can subscribe to me on TikTok. I, I don't know if anybody's got free money and wants to throw it away. Uh, try, try that out. So, uh, coin rings start at $20. That's for a copper quarter coin ring. So this is an example of what that looks like. This is a Alabama copper. You can see the copper on the edge there. So these are $20. And then I also have the state quarters in 90% silver. And I know this one looks a little rough right now, but we're going to polish it up. And those are 100 for the 90% silver. There's quite a few other things on the store that you can check out. Uh, different sized rings, different designs, really a bunch of stuff. Uh, so if you wanna just tap that gold chain by the chat and check them out, you can see some product photos and all the prices I have. Right, right, that's pretty cool. Thanks for all the universes, guys. That's a lot of labor for $100. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I really enjoy doing this, so I don't mind. And I do have some more expensive rings. So like this one right here, this is a 90% silver quarter. They sell for 100. The copper quarters are 20. A half dollars are usually 150, but right now they're $25 off uh, until the end of the month. I've actually got a really pretty one here. This is a 1934. 90% silver walking liberty half dollar and these are on sale right now for 125 so that's pretty cool check out the store if you want to get one of those they're really pretty this is probably one of my favorite rings uh, and then like peace dollars and morgan dollars they go up to 200 and uh, one ounce fine silver rounds are 300 that's actually what I'm going to be working on after I finish this ring, is we're going to do a one ounce uh, fine silver round. So. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm glad you think so. I try to stay relatively fairly priced. But like I said, I like my work, so I like to stay busy. If anybody would like to order a coin ring and see it get made on this live, uh, let me know. We could do that for sure. We got this one right up to size 11 there. So now we can start cleaning it up. I am going to change the shape of it just a little bit. I'm just going to spread out that one edge just a smidge. Thanks for watching guys, I sure do appreciate it. I'm Coin Ring Maker, I'm making coins into rings here on TikTok all the time. And if you'd like to see me make a coin ring for you, let me know. Go visit the website linked on my profile. And uh, if you order something, we'll get to work on it. And you can see it get made. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Here's John Boy right here, we got a uh, a ring I need to resize for him. He got a walking liberty as well. He also got some really cool stickers. Check out John Boy stickers. Look at these things. I 
I am going to say Scrooge makes me a little nervous, but he looks dope as hell. That's, that's badass. I like this sticker a lot, too. This is a good one. Yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to get it to fit you. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be resizing that here pretty soon. I'm not going to promote Scrooge. You're good, you're good. I'm just giving you a hard time, man. It's a cool sticker. So this is really fine steel wool. And we're just rubbing the fire scale off of this thing to bring that silver shine back to it. This is my favorite step. And again, 90% silver uh, state quarters like this are $100 on my website if anybody wants to get one. They make really nice gifts. They're also just very pretty jewelry. All handmade here on TikTok. Can't beat that, right? Oh, hey, John Boy, check this out. I've got a star up by my logo now. Can you see that? I'm so fancy. Sometimes, uh, if it's like really, really not wanting to hand polish, I'll use a tumbler. But most of the time, I use steel wool. And then I use a uh, polishing cloth like this. And then I put it in a pickle. And then I use steel wool and a polishing cloth. And that usually gets it uh, pretty dang shiny. So I worry with silver and fine silver about putting putting it in the tumbler and softening up the details. I really like them to be just as sharp as, as I can. Can get them. This is polishing up real nice. Pull this in a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. So we're just gonna throw this in this pickle here. And that just needs to chill out, so that's not a big deal. Since we got John here, he needs me to resize this to a 14. So we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, live for him. So I like I like working with customers watching. So we'll get it we'll get it going for him. Let's see what size it is. Right now it's a 13. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Start wrapping it down here.
right at a 14. <laughs> it's just a noisy dog. It's fine. She's just yappy. She can hear me talking to y'all when she's jealous. Yeah, we'll go go a little over a 14 for you. now good for you no I'm not nah she's fine Pretty good. Hello, dog. Hello. Yeah, we got that right. Right at a 14 for you. Alright, I'm going to hop back on here in a little bit, guys. Uh... If you haven't yet, give me a follow. Uh, go check out the store. There's lots of cool coin rings on there. The link is on my profile. And uh, we'll catch you next time.